part of the 90s one. Um, this, we have a question on antisocial behaviour, I believe, from a Brian Tomlinson. Just when are the police and Ellen Council going to start, start taking the act of antisocial behaviour a little bit more seriously? Hey, make no mistake about it. It's got a quite a nasty title as antisocial behaviour. It's actually a crime, and we shouldn't forget that. So, not, uh, not everybody needs to go to prison to be punished. In my opinion, the magistrates and the and the judges need to bear in mind the needs to be a deterrent here as well. Whereas, if you give a suspended sentence, they've got a chance to redeem themselves, plus no criminal record, so they have a chance, you know, like say, okay, I've been given a chance here, let's sort this out. It's a major problem in Burnley schools to actually get the children to feel um, that they should learn, let alone look for a job. Um, I believe it's not cool necessarily to to learn. I think it might also help instill uh, a sense of local pride with some of these offenders, particularly if they've spent a week's hard work cleaning out a section of the canal and they see somebody chucking a Tesco trolley in there. The community payback team came in about three, four years ago and they've done a fantastic job for us. Some of the people didn't want that to happen. They said, oh, well, there they, they might be security issues, but it has been they, they, those lads and they are well supervised. I've done a fantastic job and it has made such a difference for us, so it's been well worth it. Nobody likes speed bumps. I'm the last person to enjoy speed bumps and chicanes and all the rest of it. But I really do question whether £9 million is actually going to achieve anything in a county of 1.1 million people. The cost of one uh, seriously injured or dead child is £1.5 million. Pounds. And we haven't just put £9 million in, we've costed it out. It will cost £9 million to introduce 20 mile an hour limits in all residential areas across the county and 20 mile an hour limits around schools. One of the best ways that we're going to address this sense of negativity is to challenge the negativity. There's a huge amount going on in Burnley. It's absolutely amazing, the fantastic work that's going on. And, and Prince Charles has been around, I don't know if you were royalists or not, but you know he has been around and commented just how much energy and good work there is going on here. But I'm proud of Burnley too. I came here in 86 and I cannot understand all the people that know it because it's a grand place. And if you get involved, we're all sitting here and I suppose we are involved. We want to be involved because we've come here tonight. But do something for the town. Support the people. Whether you agree with their politics or not. If you don't agree with it, get up and say something and get on with it. Pride, what came out of a lot of firms who were there, Aircell, Vika, uh, Fataba, um, and many more, it was it, it absolutely oozed out, out of the people that they're so proud of coming from Burnley and, and they can't do enough to you know to put Burnley on the map. Don't ask what Burnley can do for you. What can you do for Burnley? That's what we should be engendering in our population. We should be asking them to stand up and say, what can you do for Burnley? When somebody talks to you from the media about Burnley, are you positive? Do you tell them about the good things or do you tell them about the bad things? But ultimately, towns are about the vitality and the energy of the people that live in it, and particularly the new generation. The amount of effort being spent, talked about super schools, and we've, we've got people on the panel representing the future. I'm actually enormously optimistic about Burnley, but we've all got to collectively push it and not just passively wait for someone else to stand up and say it's marvellous. I will definitely come back to Burnley and help people like I can. I've met some really, really amazing people who have helped move me and um, help my education and I'll 100% give back as much as I can to Burnley for what they've done for me and what they've done for my friends and family.